and so forgetful but you always remind me you're the only one who brings me peace you're the only one who brings me peace I'm so Hey, 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 good morning, everybody. How is it going? Happy Friday. Vivian's joining us. Chuck, Bert, good morning, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, man, I just love, I love Stephanie's voice. Like, that's, yeah, that's so good. Um, and it's just so true, right? Like, we do. So many times we, we just forget of just the goodness of the Lord and we, and, um, 
yeah, he's so good at reminding us and these gentle reminders of just his faithfulness and and how in the middle of the storm, like he shows up and um, yeah, just makes it all better, makes it all good. Um, so today we're talking about evangelism, like always. I think every time you guys see my face, uh, it's kind of what we're talking about. Uh, but so I was trying to think about like we've talked a lot about like how to approach people and 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 all these things, um, how to break down the gospel, how to contextualize the gospel. Karen, good morning. Um, but I don't think we've ever talked about or or haven't talked much about just how to start conversations with people. Um, so, yeah, I, I feel like a lot of people's hesitancy of doing evangelism is just that they don't like talking to strangers, right? They don't, they're not used to uh, engaging with strangers on any topic. Um, and so not even the gospel, um, and that just adds a, an extra layer to it. Um, and so kind of just wanted to share a little bit of kind of, kind of my journey with that. Hey, Nikki, good morning. Um, and yeah, so I, I've told you guys this before, uh, but I'm, uh, naturally introverted and I'm, uh, I never really approach people, right? Like uh, back in the day, if you put me in a room with uh, definitely like BC before Christ, before I gave my life to him. um, Like if you put me in a room with a bunch of strangers, if you come back in an hour, there's still a bunch of strangers. Like I'm not talking to nobody. Um, But how did that change? And I feel like a lot of, a lot of things changed, but you know, um, I got this passion. Like I, I was, like somebody came into my dorm room and uh, literally changed my life, right? He, like they preached the gospel to me and I was dead in my trespasses and now I'm alive in Christ Jesus, you know, the righteousness of Christ Jesus lives in me and I, I'm, I'm grafted in to the beloved and all that. And uh, I was like, man, if somebody, you know, was bold enough to step out and, and speak to me and literally change the trajectory, trajectory of my life, um, why I like I have to do that for somebody else like there's other people like I know my uh, my struggles and like the things that I was going through aren't unique to me right like no none of us are an island like our our struggles aren't unique to us like there's somebody else uh, going through that and so God if you can use me like you use uh, Maurice uh, in my life like I I I gotta do it right and so I would literally in in my bedroom in the mirror um like my whole uh my bedroom like closet doors they were mirrors and so i would just stand in front of my closet and practice talking to people practice approaching people and it sounds goofy uh but i i honestly i never felt goofy when i was doing it like it was it was just like man i i want to talk to people and and i know i have to get over my fear of people my fear of man my whatever and i just have to talk to people i just want to talk to people uh about um yeah like th- these new convictions and, and and about like everything that i found or i thought i would find in the world like that to to satisfy me um just always left me dry it always, there was always a hangover in the morning um, and then I found Christ, and it was just like, man, this is what I've been seeking for my own, for my entire life. Like, like it finally made sense. Like the reason I'm here and everything, it made so much sense uh, the moment I found Christ. And I was like, so I got to talk to people. I got to get out there, and I got to uh, share this. And so, uh, what would I do? I would just, yeah, practice, you know, different things, and and then I would take risks, and I would step out, and just like it was a numbers game, right? Like. Um, I, I would be going fishing, uh, and I was like, "Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going?" Right? And I just so, told myself, if somebody looked at me, I'm gonna say hi, right? And if the conversation ends there, then it ends there. But I did my part, um, and so I would just say hi to people, I'm like, "Hey, how's it going?" You know, and um, uh, sometimes like those people would just say, "Oh, I'm having a rough day," you know, and then that would create an opportunity. I mean, I, we've all been there, right? Uh, is there anything, like, how can I stand with you in prayer? Like, I, I love Jesus. 
Um, and uh, I love to talk to him. And I would love to, to shoot a prayer up for you. Um, right. And people would say, thank you. Yeah. I'm going through this or like, Oh no, I'm good. I'm just, just, you know, got to shake it off, whatever. Right. But I've created an opportunity. Um, and so just say hi to people. Um, the, uh, another uh, thing that like, and Adrian, it's, this is something I, I still do today. Like if we are having guests over and like, like Adrian's good friends with the, the wife and, uh, I'm, I've never met the husband or whatever, uh, but they're coming over for dinner or we're going over there for dinner. You know, I ask Adrian, like, what do they like? Like, what do they do? What are they into? Do you have any hobbies or whatever? And if, it, if he has some hobbies, right, like this fishing, if it's um, whatever, politics or, or you know, whatever it is, like if, if they're passionate about something, then I'm going to do some Google searching and like, Try to find some talking points. I'm, I'm going to Google latest news on, you know, insert topic. Um, and just kind of read a little bit. And so then when I, you know, and sitting in front of them, like I can start talking about or I can start talking about the topics that they're interested in um, and really just get them to talk and tell me more about, you know, what they're passionate about. And usually after somebody talks for 30 minutes or, or whatever about something that they're passionate uh, about and you, you've just done the ministry of listening and, and affirming them like, dude, that's awesome. That's incredible. How did you get into this? Whatever. Um, then they usually return the favor, right? And they, they say, well, what do, you, what do you like to do, right? And then that creates an opportunity uh, for you to share the things that, that are passionate for you and the things that are on your heart. Um, and yeah, so I, I hope this is helpful uh, for you guys. I know it can be challenging, like uh, approaching people, especially, you know, us introverts. Uh, it doesn't come natural uh, for us to do. Um, but I, I would say just practice talking to people. If that sounds weird, uh, just say hi. Just, just like challenge yourself with little steps. But like, I'm just going to say hi to somebody. Uh, if, they, if they look at me, I'm going to smile. Right. Like you didn't have to say nothing. I'm just going to smile and maybe wave like whatever. Um, challenge yourself with little steps um, to push yourself further and further uh, out of your comfort zone uh, so that the comforter can come and do what he does best. And that's reconcile hearts back to him. Uh, so I hope this is an encouragement to you guys. If you guys have any questions, if you have uh, anything, you know my number. You, you're like, if you don't know my number, reach out or email me. I'll, I'll text you. Um, my my email address is Aaron at firmlyrooted.org. Um, and feel free, like, reach out to me, please. Like, seven days a week, um, you can reach out to me. And I, I am terrible at text, uh, so I, I will probably call you back. Um, but reach out to me like if, if somebody is if, if like literally god put somebody on your heart and you're like man like i just need a strategy on how i can uh approach this person or, or start the conversation like call me or, or email me and we can get into a dialogue i don't have all the answers but i can pray i can pray with you uh, we can seek the lord together and over that person um and and, and maybe god will just release uh, some strategies. I know like if you're taking steps toward, like you feel like God has convicted your heart or, or put a person on your heart that you want to reach out to, you don't know. If you take any step towards that, man, God is cheering like, yes, come on. Um, and so he's like frontline that request. Yes, I'll, 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 if, you, if, if you're asking me, I'm going to deliver. Um, and so whatever it is, man, uh, reach out to me. Uh, I'm here uh, to help in is any way I can. If uh, the only thing I can do is stand and pray with you uh, over that individual. And we just ask God to, to go before us, right? And they'll soften their heart, whatever. Uh, create an opportunity. Um, we can do that. Uh, so please reach out. Um, and yeah, I think that's it, y'all. Love y'all. Thanks for joining. Um, Wait, wait, we got some more people who popped in. Steve, good morning, sir. Uh, always good to see you on here. Um, all right. Love y'all. See you later. Bye.